How to build your Canadian Timber Georgian Cabin Sauna with Change Room and Wood Stove. Please ensure you have the following items. Make sure you have a sturdy and level platform to build your sauna on. Place a starter stave at the front of the sauna. Starter staves are marked with lines and X. Place base staves on each side of the sauna. Secure to the starter stave with three 3 inch screws into each base stave. Place two more base staves on the sides of the sauna. Secure them to the starter stave with three 3 inch screws into each base stave. Continue placing your base staves. Ensure they are aligned with the marks on the starter stave. Secure every base stave to the starter stave with three 3 inch screws into each end of the base stave. Place a starter stave on the back of the sauna. Ensure the base staves are aligned with the marks and secure the starter stave with three 3 inch screws into each base stave. On the base staves on each side, add five more 3 inch screws to secure them together. Measure the distance from opposite corners to ensure the base is square. Temporarily place a floor stave across the middle and secure with four 3 inch screws to prevent the base from shifting. Place the floor starter stave. It is the one without the groove. Ensure the edge is aligned with the inside of the starter stave. Secure with 12 3 inch screws, 6 on the inside and 6 on the outside. Place the next floor stave. Ensure the tongue is tight into the groove and secure with 6 3 inch screws. Continue placing and securing the floor staves. When you get near the temporary floor stave, move and secure it to its proper position. When you reach the end, use the smaller floor stave and secure with six 3 inch screws. Now place a stave labeled door onto the front of the sauna. Place a sidewall stave and use the provided hit block to tap it into the notch on the door stave. Place the back wall starter stave. It looks the same as the door stave, just without the door section cut out. Tap the sidewall stave into the back wall stave notch. Place a sidewall stave on the opposite side and tap it into the notch on the front and back stave. Place a 5 inch screw into each notch. Place three 3-inch three screws through the door stave into the floor stave. 
Place four 3-inch screws through the sidewall stave into the floor staves. If the back wall stave isn't sitting flush, insert a 5-inch screw through the top to pull it down tight. Place three 3-inch three screws through the back wall stave into the floor stave. Place four 3-inch screws through the other sidewall stave into the floor staves. Place the stave labeled Change Room Door next to the notches in the middle of the side staves. Ensure the tongue is perfectly centered with the notch and secure with four 3-inch screws. Place a short stave with the extra piece attached on either side of the change room door stave and secure with a 5-inch screw into the notch. Place a normal short stave on either side of the front door stave and secure with a 5 inch screw into the notch. Make sure to put the screws in on an angle so they don't hit the screws below. Place a back wall stave and secure with a 5 inch screw into each notch. Make sure to put the screws in on an angle so they don't hit the screws below. If the back wall stave isn't sitting flush, Insert a 5 inch screw through the top to pull it down tight. Place a sidewall stave and secure with a 5 inch screw into each notch. Make sure to put the screws in on an angle so they don't hit the screws below. Place a sidewall stave on the opposite side and secure with a 5 inch screw into each notch. Make sure to put the screws in on an angle so they don't hit the screws below. Place a front wall stave and secure with a 5 inch screw into the notch. Make sure to put the screw in on an angle so it doesn't hit the screw below. Repeat with another front wall stave in the middle. Repeat on the other side. Place and secure another back wall stave. Place and secure another sidewall stave. Place and secure another sidewall stave on the opposite side. Place and secure four more front wall staves. Place and secure one more layer of back and side walls. Now use the four short staves labeled window on the front and secure with 5 inch screws.
Place and secure one more layer of back and side walls. Place and secure four tiny staves onto the front walls. Continue placing and securing layers of back, side, and tiny front wall staves until the tiny front wall staves are 8 layers high. Now, place your windows next to the tiny front wall staves. Now, place your doors. Make sure they open towards the front of the sauna. Slide all the tiny staves without a notch between the doors and windows. Place and secure four short front wall staves. Place and secure another layer of side and back wall staves. Place and secure two long front wall staves labeled door over the doors. Place and secure a sidewall stave with a tapered top. Repeat on the other side. Now place one of the triangle pieces onto the back of the sauna and secure with two 5 inch screws. Place a triangle piece onto the center wall of the sauna and secure with two 5 inch screws. Place a triangle piece onto the front wall of the sauna and secure with two 5 inch screws.
Now place the center beam across all three triangle pieces and secure with six 3 inch screws. Now place the roof starter piece and secure with six 3 inch screws into the triangle pieces. Place 8 additional 3 inch screws across the roof starter piece into the wall stave. Begin placing the roof staves. Ensure the tongue is tight into the groove and secure with 3 3 inch screws. When you reach the peak, use the roof finisher piece. It is wider and has no groove. Secure with three 3 inch screws into the triangle pieces and eight 3 inch screws into the center beam. Repeat the process on the other side. Now place the front fascia pieces, ensure they are flush, and secure each with three 3 inch screws. Repeat the process with the back fascia pieces. Now place the side trim pieces and secure with 12 of the short black screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Now place the rear trim pieces. Ensure they are flush and secure each with seven of the short black screws.
Repeat the process with the front trim pieces. Now place the first shingle. Ensure it is flush and secure with a self-sealing roofing screw into the four ridges closest to the front of the sauna. Place the next shingle. Ensure it is flush and overlapping the last ridge of the previous shingle. Secure with a self-sealing roofing screw into the four ridges closest to the front of the sauna. Place the next shingle. Ensure it is flush and overlapping the top ridge of the first shingle. Secure with a self-sealing roofing screw into the four ridges closest to the front of the sauna. Place the next shingle. Ensure it is flush and overlapping the last ridge of the previous shingle, as well as the top ridge on the second shingle. Secure with a self-sealing roofing screw into the four ridges closest to the front of the sauna. Continue this process until you reach the peak. When you reach the peak, use half-width shingles. When you reach the end, cut three shingles in half to use as finishers. Secure each with a self-sealing roofing screw into each ridge. Cut a half-width shingle into two to use for your final piece. Secure with a self-sealing roofing screw into each ridge. Repeat the process on the other side. Now put the two ridge caps on top of each other and draw a line 25 inches from the end of the bottom one. Stick the ridge cap seal to both sides of the unmarked ridge cap. Stick the ridge cap seal to just the last 25 inches of both sides of the marked ridge cap. Place the first ridge cap over the peak. Ensure it is tucked under the rear trim piece and secure with self-sealing roofing screws into every other ridge. Only do two rows for now. Place the second ridge cap over the first. Ensure it is tucked under the front trim piece and continue securing with self-sealing roofing screws into every other ridge. To start the benches, first place a bench leg on the back of the sidewall of the sauna and mark the tops. Repeat on the other sidewall. Now place four of the bench support staves on the marks and secure each with three two-inch screws. Bring in the first bench seat 
and place it on the top supports. Secure it to the supports with four one-inch screws. Place a bench leg under the bench and align with a crossbeam on the bench. Ensure it is centered and secure with four two-inch screws. Repeat the process with the second bench leg. Bring in the next bench seat and place it on the bench legs. Secure it to the legs and supports with eight one-inch screws. Place a small bench leg next to the middle wall in the sauna. Ensure the screw is facing upwards and mark the top. Place a bench support on the mark and secure with three two-inch screws. Place a small bench leg next to the bottom bench seat and secure with three two-inch screws. Bring in a small bench seat and place it on top of the supports. Secure it to the supports with four one-inch screws. Place a small bench leg under the small bench seat. Center it with the crossbeam on the bench and secure with four two-inch screws. Secure the bench to the leg with two one-inch screws. Place a small bench leg next to the front and middle wall of the sauna. Ensure the screw is facing upwards and mark the top. Place bench supports on the marks and secure each with three two-inch screws. Bring in a small bench seat and place it on the supports. Secure it to the supports with four one-inch screws. Place a small bench leg under the small bench seat. Center it with the crossbeam on the bench and secure with four two-inch screws. Secure the bench to the leg with two one-inch screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Now, place the outer door handle at the desired height. Ensure it is centered and secure with two two-inch screws. Now place the inner door handle at desired height. Ensure it is centered and secure with two two-inch screws. Repeat the process for the inside door. Now remove the chimney plate from the back of the stove.
Make sure the grill inside the stove is sitting in the groove and not turned sideways. Place the handle on the stove door and secure with the two provided screws. Remove the plastic from the heat shields and chimney pieces. Bring the stove into the sauna and measure the height to the center of the chimney hole. In this case, it is 22 inches. Find the center between the bench and middle wall and mark the height of the center of the chimney hole. Mark 4 inches in every direction from the center mark. Use the chimney cap to draw a circle around the marks. Drill out a starter hole for the jigsaw, then use the jigsaw to cut out the circle. Place the floor heat shield and ensure it is centered. Place the stove on the heat shield. Place the rear heat shield behind the stove. Ensure it is correctly oriented. Slide the chimney into the stove to gauge the correct height for the heat shield. Secure the heat shield to the wall using six one-inch screws. Ensure the cap is on the top chimney hole. Now slide the two chimney stacks together. Ensure the welds are aligned. Place the stack support bracket over the groove and secure with the provided bolt, washers, and nut. Slide the chimney cap into the stack. Slide the chimney stack onto the chimney base. Ensure the welds are aligned. Place the stack support bracket over the groove and secure with the provided bolt, washers, and nut. Disassemble the chimney support bracket. Fasten these two brackets together. Place the bracket over the spacer blocks and secure it to the wall using the two provided screws. Place the chimney support around the chimney and secure it to the wall bracket using the provided bolts, washers, and nuts. Now place the chimney hole covers and secure with the six provided screws.
Use a vent hole cover to mark the vent hole positions next to the stove, on the bottom of the wall. Use a 2 inch hole saw to drill out the vent holes. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Finish drilling on the other side. Place the vent guard and secure with the six provided screws. Repeat the process on the top of the opposite wall in the sauna. Place the vent board over the top holes on the inside of the sauna and secure with a 1 inch screw. Place a 3 inch screw into the open holes on each of the door hinges, as well as two on the opposite side, to secure the door to the sauna. Place the optional towel hangers in your desired location and secure each with two 1 inch screws. Your assembly is now complete.